10 raises to 77,000. Pretty good sized raise here. Over to Elkie now. Queen Jack of Diamonds and reaches for chips. Well, certainly a hand good enough to see a flop with, especially when you've already got a raise. Wow, he's gonna raise it. Pretty aggressive play here. Looks like he's gonna raise, yeah. Makes it 120,000 more. So 10 now, decision time. He's put 77,000 in already. 120,000 more. Ace, queen, a very difficult hand to play. He is gonna call. So a big pot brewing here. Elki will have to act first after the flop, so Tan has position, and he also has the best hand. And here is the flop. It is queen, eight, five. Well, and a dangerous flop it is. Elki has to go first. I would imagine he'd have to bet here. No! Wow, he's going to check. He's going to set the trap. Looks like he wants to go for the check raise on the flop here. Expecting Tan to bet. Slow playing his top pair. But Tan has the best hand. And Tan bets 210,000. Now we see what Elkie has planned. Big trouble for Elkie here. He checked the flop, looking for some action. Tan bet. What Elkie doesn't know, of course, is that Tan has him beat, has him dominated. As you can see, just 13% chance to win. He would have to catch a jack or running straight cards. This could be trouble. And wow! Elky lets it go. An amazing read. That is an incredible lay down in this type of situation to re raise before the flop and then check fold on the flop. That might be one of the greatest reads I've ever seen. 